right, a little update. I got the first wall partially up and I just put a coat of black paint on it just in case you can see between the foam tiles. And this is just gonna dry real quick and then I am going to start laying the foam work at the top and see what happens. And hopefully I don't mess it up. I'm just trying to decide whether I should go all the way up or leave a gap for the board at the top. If I go all the way up, the board at the top is going to squish right up against this foam. But I think that's okay as well. I think it will just kind of push it in. But then it'll be, it'll look like a top layer is gone. So I don't know what I should do. But anyway, got all the uh, electrical finished on this wall at least for this board, I've got the TV mount. Boy, this was a nightmare with this foam insulation. Um, didn't think it was gonna be this bad, but yeah, it was really tough to put these boxes in because of the foam. But yeah, what I'm gonna do next is try out some of these acoustic tiles. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and I just wanted to give a quick update video and let you guys know that we are live online right now on Supercar Street Racing Channel with the studio build that I kind of wanted to go over everything that I have done in here before I keep working. So stepping back towards the door of the studio, this is kind of what it looks like. It's kind of a mess right now, but as you can see here, we basically have all the wiring done for the speakers. So we're gonna have 7.2 audio. So there's speakers. Um, my main speakers are these Harbinger powered monitors that will go up in that corner and that corner. We have a center channel going there. We have side surround here and side surround there. And then we have the rear surround there and in the other corner. You can also see here that we have HDMI's run for the 50 inch 4K monitor there and the 50 inch 4K monitor there. We also have all of our CAT6 cabling run. So we have all the CAT6 going up here to the corner where there will be a switch. We have a Netgear, I think 25 port switch that goes up in that corner and ethernet runs here for a television there and I don't know what I'm putting there yet, probably one I already have. It runs back here for two workstations, one there, one there, and it runs to the TV up here. Now I had some issues here with the wall box because I had never done it in foam and now I understand how to do it a lot better. So I've messed that one up completely but it'll be covered, you won't see it at all, it'll be covered with the wall plate. Um, all right, so yeah, so long story short, 43 inch television here. These, this power here is for a wall light. So just like a regular, you know, regular old wall light goes there. That's a little bit poking out, but that's okay. It'll be covered too with foam. And this will be a wall light. I still have to do the power for that. I haven't done that yet. Um, that will be power for the Echo Show 15. And I still have to make a mount that comes across here for it. It's gonna go right there, Echo Show 15. Um, down here is the other workstation. And we're going to have uh, HDMI available here. That goes up to this 43 inch TV in case someone wants to have a second monitor or I want to do a second monitor up here from a workstation, I can do it right there. There's power right there, there's gonna be CAT6 there. Again here, there will be power CAT6 for that TV, I think I already said that. And up here, this is actually moving, we're gonna have a webcam either in that corner or in that corner looking down at the studio all the time so we can go live and I have all the power pretty much run everywhere. AC unit is going down here at the bottom, right at the very bottom, it is remote controlled, so no big deal. And I wanna be able to plug it in right here. So super easy, reach over there, plug in. Futon will go over here. 
This whole wall will be completely covered. Um, I already started sealing the door up. It is mostly sealed. I foam sealed all the bottoms of the joists down here, all the way across there, and all the way across there, and then out here in the rafters. I ran out of uh, clear silicone caulk, but I started sealing all of these joints up here. You can see it's still kind of wet right there and it did shrink, so I gotta fix that. Um, yeah, all that was caulked in yesterday. Um, I'll probably come back and do a second coat there. And that is it. There will be power down there, but you can see here all my wiring runs down here where the editing PC will be. The editing PC will sit right here in the center with two 4K monitors and then the 250 inch monitors there and there. And we'll have 7.2 surround with a 7.2 home theater receiver. So that is what we have going on now. And by the way, the um, Harbingers are powered. So I ran RCA cables up from the preamp. It's gonna hit the preamp output on the receiver to run the front speakers that are powered. And they will actually be hanging from these corners up here with chains and bicycle hooks. This power is for the Harbinger to be powered. And that power up there is for the Harbinger to be powered. Now all I have to do is finish a lot of power work, a lot of no fun cutting of drywall because it's very hard to cut. I don't have the right tools or a nice big long straight edge. I really need to go buy like a drywall T-square super long one because that was, this cut right here I got lucky because it's on the ground and it'll be covered up. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. So um, the plan is for the walls is going to be foam sound insulating tile. Now, yes, I know that this stuff is cheap and it doesn't really insulate sound, but I like the look. And so as soon as the roof gets on, we will start right here on the side and start laying foam tile all the way up against the ceiling, all the way across in one pattern. You know, like we'll start with this pattern and then we'll, on the next row, we'll go up and down like that. And notice it's gonna cover the whole wall, it'll be glued on. And then when we get up to these switches, we just literally cut around them or either cut holes in the actual foam. But it looks like we'll be able to just cut around the switches. It'll be pretty easy, these cut with scissors. So that'll be the whole entire studio will be covered with these foam sound tiles, including the ceiling. And that is it. I have ordered a bunch of these already and I wanted to see if they were gonna work out and we're gonna add them to the wall with this Super 3M multi-purpose adhesive once all the foam board gets up. So we're attaching the foam board directly to the studs and the ceiling joists and that is how we are doing the wall covering. And I have been working through electrical because of course now we have wall boxes that are um, some of them are inset because I did the power ahead of time. So when you put the wall board in, your electrical outlets are too far back. So I have an electrical outlet extension kit that has little extension screws and everything you need to pull the wall outlet out just like that. That one is actually on extensions. And then I used this box here for ethernet. Um, so that is a da -da 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 -da. I think that's called an old work. I can never remember the difference, but um, this is the one that kind of bolts and um, clamps to. This clamping to the foam just fine, but that one I really messed up because I didn't cut the hole big enough and I didn't have a template. I have a nice template for these guys. So that is gonna do it. We are live streaming on supercarstreetracing.com, so make sure, not .com, Supercar Street Racing YouTube channel, Make sure you're watching the build live here with us on the channel. There's some nice music playing in the background. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this uploaded and we will see you guys soon with another update. And we will be moving into the studio within a couple weeks. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm giving another studio update today. And today we got a lot of work done in the studio probably another five or six hours worth of work. So I kind of wanted to go over what I did and what I'm about to do. So I got the TV mounts fixed. So what I did is I spanned across 
these joists or actually studs and I made mounts for the TV that look just like that mount and so basically on the outside of the foam insulation the TV will mount directly to these boards and they are bolted to these boards and the TVs really don't weigh that much anyway now so I've got like four screws in each one that should be fine I've got them bolted to the, the studs on the side so I got that done today I got more Ethernet run so I made another run from the switch is gonna be up here down to where I'm gonna have an HDMI cable here running up to the 50 inch monitor and an ethernet jack so that you can actually plug in another computer here and feed this monitor. And I still, and I also ran ethernet across here. It's actually down there right now. For the same thing on this side, it will basically be a cat six cable and an HDMI port for that TV so I have all that stuff now I have all the stuff from Amazon to put that in I actually connected power today so I connected power uh, there on that side to all the accessories that are getting power I connected power um, over here as well and also put the female plugs on for the speakers the powered speakers the harbingers are going up here in the corner you can see the power and the RCA cable for that. This has power in it. The ceiling has power now for the extra lights. And next I am going to be running this USB extension from down here up to that corner for our webcam that's gonna be live um, in the studio. And that is a lot of work today. Um, got this HDMI also ran for the HDMI and Cat5 jack down here that you'll be able to tie into this television if you want to. So yeah, um, got that all done today. It was a quite a bit of work. You can see all my Cat6 cables here for the switch. They're all labeled with numbers and then numbered on this end and then I will label the actual boxes as I put them in. There's another HDMI and Cat6 for that monitor to be tied into if somebody wants to park right here. And then there's lights up on the wall to feed sconces or LED type lights there. So I also just got the new Echo Show 15 in. I was waiting for the bracket so that I could make the wall mount for it. So here we have the bracket and that is going to be how it mounts just like that. So it will mount just like this and the power will run right into the wall there and then the foam will actually, this thing will be kind of flush mounted because the, the, uh, the foam is an inch thick. So think about with the bracket on top of the foam, um, the bracket will be on top of the foam and then uh, I was thinking maybe doing it either way. I don't know if I should put the bracket in now and then cut the foam around the bracket if I do this on top of the foam, then the actual acoustic foam tile will run up against the side of the show and kind of make it look flush mount. So I think I'm gonna do that, but that is the way that is going to be mounted. And there is power for that. So yeah, just a little update. Wanted to keep you guys posted and I'm still making progress and busting my butt in here trying to get ready to put up, I guess I'm going to do either this foam insulation next or start on the ceiling. I kind of need two people to do the ceiling, so I'm holding off on that. But guys, I appreciate you keeping tuned into the video and checking out all the progress on the studio. It'll just take me probably another couple of weeks to get it done and I'll keep you guys posted. And we're constantly streaming live on the channel as I work, so please tune in and like and subscribe. We'll see you guys again tomorrow. Okay, welcome back to Supercar Street Racing, guys. Second update for the day. I've been working really hard today, and we are about ready to test the front channel audio system for the studio. <clears throat> A little background, I got these Harbinger speakers about three years ago, and I have used them a total of one or two times. They are powered speakers. They both have individual inputs and they are awesome. 
and they will be fed by a 7.2 receiver that has preamp outputs for the front and that will be fed by the computer up front by one of the video outputs on the video card. So we're ready to test the sound. Everything is connected. We're going to listen to some royalty free music so I don't get copyrighted. And we are going to shut this door with no AC yet and it's going to be really hot. One sec guys. All right, sorry about that. Take two hands to close the door. Um, all right, let's test it. We're ready. So this is Purple Planet, royalty free audio. The phone is stereo, so you should hear the actual representation. First overall impressions of the room, it'll be much better when the sound is knocked down with uh, foam. So we still have some reverb going on in here because of the lack of uh, sound insulation. But all that will change, don't worry. They actually sound really good. They're turned down almost all the way. So those will be flying up in that corner. We'll have uh, hooks into the studs there, and they will be flying from the top corner, angled down at you. And then the center channel will be in the ceiling. You'll have side surrounds there, and then rear surrounds back there for the ultimate surround sound studio. And we'll either have, most likely we're gonna have a futon right there for guests, and then two workstation setups here for guests if they wanna sit. But that was a test of the front stage of the upcoming studio sound. I did get some more wiring done. I got the HDMI cables run for the second output of these monitors to feed a workstation if we want to. Same thing over here, got everything labeled um, really nicely. And now all we have to do is put the wall boxes in when we put the foam insulation up. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.